This is the uh, Deerfield Capital Improvement Planning Meeting, Planning Committee meeting for December 17th, 2018, and we're calling it to order at 5.40 p.m. Okay, and the agenda is to approve the minutes of the last two meetings and then to well the agenda the agenda says that we were we were going to we were going to briefly discuss uh, bylaws but I I don't know what there is to discuss at this point why don't we do the minutes first when we guys I don't can we vote on these minutes if Ken and I both weren't at the last one. I think. Can you still? I think. I think you can still we, vote on them. We can still vote. Yeah, if you've read them. Or not at the meeting, you should be voting on minutes, Jen. No, but there's two no, people that are going to be abstaining, me? right? Yeah. So there's so only two, two people. Zero two. It's a majority. Oh, you if you've read the minutes, and that'll work, yeah. right? Two zero. That's yeah. been the rule. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. I'll vote too. <laughs> I thought that was a change. Yeah. I thought that was a change. I thought that was a change in the. Yeah. No. All right. Who's Robert, anyways? Look at to me. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the minutes of the November 26 meeting. I'll second. All abstain. All in favor? Aye. Mm -hmm. Abstain. Okay, so. so that's the no, that's November, November 26th. So here's yeah. the November. Here's the October 25th. Accept the minutes of October 25th as presented. And all second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. <clears throat> so Ken and just me. Ken is abstaining. Yeah. Three zero one. Okay, so the so the second thing on the agenda was to briefly discuss the bylaws, but I don't I don't really have anything to to add to to the discussion that you know yeah, I I feel like we we passed the, we passed our recommendations along to the select board and I, I so agree. it's I think yeah. we we did what we were wanted to do and right. Yeah, now we'll work with what we have. Now the balls are right. right. And yeah, so we'll work with whatever the whatever the select board and the town meeting come up with. The bylaw bylaw committee, the uh, the, think, the yeah. vendor that's looking over the bylaws. Whatever. I think we all revisit that short. Yeah. You know, once that's done. Um, one thing I'll mention tonight is just the the December first timeline is always difficult for planning. So I think we'll look at that down the road as well. Hopefully. What, you mean too early, too late? Too early. Too early. Because mm -hmm. everybody's doing their budgets right now. Our school's doing the budget. Everybody's mm -hmm. kind of, right, right about now, everybody's kind of getting into starting to do their stuff and figure out what capital projects they're going to need to do just because of time to do everything else the rest of the year. We get to, you know, December 1st, and really, I think it was January 1st, it'd probably be a little bit more accurate as to what's coming in. Like, you'll see a note from the school today. You know, they're just kind of getting around to getting that stuff going. So to have it formally on a form, I think, so that you could review it, I think January 1st would probably be a little bit. 
Isn't that the same date, though, that um, the select board or the finance committee wants the budget submitted by? Isn't that December 1st? Uh, yeah, or again, are you, all are you of that. to change that also? Uh, but we need time to review right. the request. We were yep. actually thinking about making it earlier than December mm. 1st at one point, weren't we? Yeah, I, it's just too soon, I uh, think. It, because, and, and yeah, I, I think I, for a five-year plan, it makes sense because you're thinking about this stuff long-term, but stuff that's coming up for next year, I think the schools, a lot of departments don't get around to getting to that early enough. I think January 1st is probably a... Is the operating budget still going to... Operating budget, I think, makes sense, yes. Uh, I'm just thinking capital projects, okay. like those, those issues where we want to go, hey, town, do we, this really needs to get done, and we're putting our budget together, and we're thinking we can't do this operationally, but we're going to do a request this year. But uh, just a thought. And that would still give us a couple months to review, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because really, we would prove it. When do we have to have it? To, we, we submit it to the select board, right? Yeah. Well, the new the new capital the new bylaw is just voted uh, says we have to present a capital plan 60 days before the town meeting, mm -hmm. which is so it'd be when's, when's the February toward the end of February. So that would only give us a month and a half to review requests. Right. Yep. And and create the. I don't I don't necessarily think creating the plan as we has it have it now is. It's really that much of a project because we're just kind of tweaking it or adding mm -hmm. on to yeah. it. Is that adding on, taking off? Um, I yeah. guess it's yeah. I guess can we do it in a month and a half? Well, that's what it boils down to. How many unless do you have to select, look at tonight? It unless the select board wants to delay when they need it by. It's fine. I just need it before, you know. In the years that we've been doing this, I mean, some of the departments don't get their th items, haven't gotten their items in on time. Um, others have gotten them in, you know, at the proposed deadline, at least to give us a preliminary look. Mm -hmm. But we seem to end up constantly reviewing items right up to town meeting time. Well, yeah. Yeah, we get... I think the 60-day deadline is going to certainly... Cha not deadline, but the 60-day requirement is certainly going to change the ability to add things last minute um, I, across the departments. Well, although, from my although understanding, the, you still had, if, and that was for, I was trying to think, it, uh, my understanding was that you still had, you could still review things as yeah. an emergency, but yes. just kind of those. Right. Extraordinary circumstances. Right. Which right. we. Emergency, which are rare, right? I'm hoping. I guess in my experience, there are always there always seem to be extraordinary circumstances. And that's why I was thinking the extra month would give you, you know. I just remember like last year with a truck that um, Kevin was looking for. I mean, we had a meeting, you know, two meetings with him, and then we had a public meeting. It was that went on for yeah, that probably three months. Seven meetings. Seven, yeah, Seven over one truck. Discussion. So that's my only concern. Like I don't know, some things do drag mm -hmm. okay. on. Um, Allison took, remember that meeting? Where yes, she said we've right. discussed this for seven meetings. Yes. She had everything counted up, how much time had been spent. So it's not, re it's how, it's making the best use of the time. That's really the issue. Mm. So that's, I'll just say that for now. Okay. And there'll always be extraordinary things. That's, right. you know, sorry you get frustrated by that, but that, if, that's what happens, you know. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not so much frustrated that, 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 that things like that happen, but that we have very little time to consider. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm different from other people, but I like, to, I like to look at an issue and consider it a little bit, let it percolate, and to be called into a meeting and then have to vote right then and there. Uh, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And um, so... So Do you only meet that, once a month? Well, any time, any time that. No, I, what I'm saying, I'm just curious. Do you only meet once a month? We meet. No, we, we meet right. as, yeah. as, as much as, as, as you need. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so time of year. Good. The, you know, the biggest problem is to get everybody, you know, here. to get everybody <laughs> here and work around everyone's right. schedule. Nope. Well, I hear you. Well, you've got a bunch in front of you now. Yeah. So. You've got a lot to start with.
So basically, I, I thought we would just take a look at these and then maybe have a little short discussion of what we want to do one. next. Yeah, just the one. Public that's the whole file. Public that's the whole file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ken will have a bunch. Did you print out the ones from, uh, yeah, the police chief emailed them to me. I think there's a few on that. And, uh, yeah, and I spoke to Jeff saying yeah, I think there's two, the there's, two, there's two from the police department. Two from EMS. So he must have printed them out. How did you get them? He, I don't know. Somebody printed, Jeff called me and said they were in his box, so I don't oh, know. he must have, okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. Yeah. Do you and guys also? Have them, Mike. I'd take them if you have spares, okay. but if you oh, don't. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're cross, okay. cross sure stacks. So you can same two if I can and uh, why don't we just take them all and I'll make sure they get the rest. And okay. And that one here. We've got that. Police motorcycle. Police radio. Yeah. Which one do we want to start I with? what they got from you. Uh, well, Trevor, you're here to speak on the, uh, regarding the school. Uh, Ken and I, I think would well, ready. Oh, right, yeah. yeah cool. we, can, we can speak to the school. To the extent that it's yeah. the information's here. One of each. Yeah, I'm trying to pull up what is that. Can I mean, you take them in whatever order you want? I don't know. Let me do that. Yeah. Well, we can talk about the, uh, yeah, we can talk, let's talk about the school first. Okay. Um, this is a, a list, and I should have dated it when I sent it to you, but I didn't. But um, this is a list of capital improvements that were discussed at last week's meeting. It's the first that the school committee had seen of of a list of any kind, and so we took that, and Trevor and I agreed I'd send this along to the committee and to everyone here so that we could have it on the table to be aware that there are things out there uh, that are that are needing to be addressed. And the first first item on the on the list you'll see is the entry courtyard. And uh, that's really a a project that would have to you know have to be done in its entirety. It can't be phased. It would uh, have to be done. Uh, we had discussions because this was the first we'd seen it. This would be to remove all existing pavement in front of the school um, and repave the entire area. And we asked during the meeting, could the, you know, could the amount of pavement be reduced at all? Um, can we get some plantings back in where there used to be four trees? Questions like that, um, which we now have to follow up and check with the highway department in terms of plowing and snow removal and things like that, uh, whether that can be done. But there might be ways to reduce this. But this was a number based on dollars per square foot uh, that. Um, was provided to us. Yes. Is this a request for fiscal year? We're doing 2020, right? Is this a request for 2020? Mm -hmm. That's that's the piece we have not yet right. identified. This was literally our first look. It could be a 2020. If I was looking at prioritizing them, so this would be one of the ones that I might suggest for 2020, yes. And part of... Uh, so just some background on a little bit on this list is that I had been meeting with Bob Lesko for most of the year um, since school came back in and um, trying to get from him what are, what are the real needs. And I had been bringing up these bathrooms because the bathrooms are horrendous and need to be updated. And when we said, well, what else is on your list? And it's taken, you know, Bob with a lot of other stuff that he's dealing with, time to kind of get vendors in get quotes, so it's, it's taking him since September, kids got back to, um, to now to get this kind of list uh, pretty solidified. But I don't know if, it, if, uh, if he said this, you know, doesn't, like the paving doesn't have, to be, doesn't have to be 2020, it could be 2020, but it's something to get on your radar of, of things coming. Okay. The, um, the floor is in real need in the gym. <clears throat> And it's really the bathrooms that were the main thing. And then continuing our flooring thing that you've, mm -hmm. you've uh, approved for the last several years. So just you, a little bit of background. 
Can we like give them a rank, which is more important? Can you like number one, number two, That's number three? Restrooms priority. Are, restrooms are number one. Both. That's. I mean, they, again, the school yeah. committee. We we literally got this. We yeah. did not sit down and prioritize. Correct. The, the restrooms would be at the top of my right. list. Maybe right. we yeah. should. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be looking at it now. Maybe well, it's premature. Yeah, we probably well, don't need to. It was good to. Well, but we wanted to let you know it's coming. Well, so I guess my yeah, question is: Are these, these aren't necessarily requests for this year? This is this they are not necessarily. These are like these are Bob Lesko's. Uh, this is Bob right. Lesko's wish list, but not necessarily. Well, the, no, it's a it's, need list, not a, a wish. It's but more it's, of a need, need list. But yeah. what what we did was is we sat and discussed it the other night. For instance, if you look at the restroom upgrades. Um, it says $8,500 per set, and what that means is there's boys and girls rooms in four different, is it four different, yeah, locations, four different locations in the school, so they'd be, the thought was we could do them one at a time or, you know, do the primary pieces, which the, the most noticeable thing in the, in the bathrooms in the school are they're almost 30 years old, and the partitions are, are all the old steel style. So they're all rusting, mm -hmm. and they all look horrible, and really need to be replaced. The other items below that, so at $8,500 per set, you'd be looking at about $34,000 to replace all four bathroom partition sets and the epoxy floors in the, in the bathrooms. Okay. That would address the most immediate need in the bathrooms. And then you could think, for the future about whether lighting and ceiling tiles and right. other things need to be done. Um, so that's just an example of the conversation we had last week, but yes, definitely the bathrooms would be number one. <clears throat> and that would be the public ones as opposed to more of the single ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, and then there's a lot of singles in, the, in a lot of the kindergarten and yeah. younger grades and stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and the floor, um, they have been trying to sand the floor every year using That's the gymnasium, the gymnasium floor. floor. Yeah, gymnasium floor with the um, help of Frontier. One of the custodians over there has helped. This year, I, I don't think um, it didn't come out good at all. It's really needed a professional strip, yeah. sand strip and repaint and then coat over. And then he was thinking, well, if you did that, then if you did a screen and a top coat every year, every other year, it might last a little longer. And then just having like the custodians try and do it, just have somebody come in and do it professionally. So that was kind of a thought. I mean, but the gym floor is in bad shape this year and really needs to get done soon. And that walkway is um, last year, they uh, on the gym entrance side where, the, where you pick up your kids from after school, there used to be a kind of a dirt area there with some stone and that all got repaved and it's just much cleaner, safer, not as much ice out there now. And they were hoping to do that on the other side of the gymnasium where the kids come in from recess and stuff. It's a lot of mud back there and yeah. grass doesn't grow. It's kind of, so they're trying to figure out what to do there and that's just kind of the number they put on that. So that would be number three on, on the priority list. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. So, I mean, he's talking has, walkway has paving. Kevin been in on that yeah. conversation? No, not on the paving I part. Think that I don't worth, know. That might be worth two, talking about. Don't, don't yeah, unless um, two unless, would be um, unless he yeah. asked. Yeah. Yeah. Bob may have talked to him about okay, that it, stuff. Yeah, we're checking on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three would be the walk, yeah. walkway paving. Because we're responsible. Four might be the entry courier. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we hadn't gotten. I don't know how much time we should be spending on yep. this. No, you don't. We're going to so see it again. You're going right? to see it again. Yep. Just Maybe we should just move on and look at some other yeah. stuff. Absolutely. Right, and we're, so we're going to see a, a specific request. I get. I, I assume you're going to correct. You're not going to ask for all of this. For, all of this for this year, but our next school committee meeting is the 10th of January. <laughs> at which point in time, I would hope we would be identifying and get a prioritization recommendation from administration as well mm -hmm. as opposed to Trevor and Ken yeah. <laughs> right yeah then we can add it into the, the five-year plan right mm -hmm. okay. I think we should move on to other okay. things I so so the second down. one the next one would be the the uh, town common improvement plan mm -hmm. okay so I can speak to that a bit um, we have been working in town for our complete streets program we've um, 
we were just uh, approved, right, for tier, is it tier two it's called? Tier two. tier two, so that means that we can finally go, we, that means our policy has been accepted, um, and it means we can, we can get a prioritization plan figured out now, and um, so that's where we have a, I believe it's a meeting where people come together and we list our priorities, um, and then those so get, those I, get I'm ranked. sorry, we're, we, we were approved by who the were state. Okay, by the I, state. I was just going to do the background. For, uh, for, for a capital, no. For, for a grant we, of some kind? Yes. Well, if it leads to that. It leads to that. You need to be, you, the state, the town needs to accept complete streets as a policy. And then, and you had to do a bunch of loopholes to kind of get to that point. And now that you're there, then you can, now that, that makes you um, able to go out to get grants to start doing some of the work that we, that we need. Um, my, I've been on the town common ad hoc committees for about a year and a half, almost two years now, trying to figure out how to improve our sidewalks in the common, make them safe, and then replace the, the bench benches. Um, we've had Conway School of Design come in. Everybody's kind of given a, uh, opinions, but we're kind of hamstrung because we can't, I can't really do the sidewalks until I know where the crosswalks are going to be, and the crosswalks that are there right now um, don't fit the pathway, so the crosswalks go to no pathway, and, the, and, the and the no crosswalks go yeah. to a curb. Vice so, versa. Yeah. yeah, vice versa. It's all kind of all over the place. So I really needed to wait on that, as frustrating as that is. We needed to wait and talk with the state because they own Sugarloaf Street and how that kind of plays in and just make sure and do a full plan of where the crosswalks are going to be, where is it going to be safe before we spend money on doing pathways. So, so the plan now is to have some money uh, set aside this is, this is a guess. I, I don't know what it would cost to do this, but working with Titan, Titan Bond, our plan is once we do the priorit prioritization plan, this is high on the list, I hope, um, to get the sidewalks done around the common and around town and get the crosswalks to a safe place. Once we know where those would be, we could have um, preliminary design and then co some construction design work where this money would come from to get that all laid out. And then we can get a bid on it and say, how much is this worth? And how much, how much, how many money we can get for grants to get this done? Whether we use some CIPC money or we hopefully get this money from the complete streets. So it's a, it's a moving target. You it's mean frustrating. community preservation money? Yes. Yeah, what do I say? CIPC. We don't oh, have, I'm we sorry, don't have CPA. any money. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get a mix is up it, all is, the time. I is, it, is it all um, eligible for CPA money? No, I know. I think the probably the crosswalks, the pathway mm -hmm. in in the, the and common. probably benches on the common would be something that we could request of them and and see if they feel it's worthy. Um, I think it is because it's a public park and yeah. Um, and so I hope we could do that and then and then ha maybe how it touches the crosswalks and the other stuff would be the state money that we would do. The other issue is that um, the grant. Complete streets is not allowed on any state roads. So some of it we may have to do with town money. Some of it we can get grant money. It all depends on where the road goes and where it touches. Like well, I guess as far as the town money goes, can't we use CPA money for all of it? No. No? No, because there's crosswalks. And, uh, the, crosswalks you know, there's, don't there's, fit the definition. C CPA can only so. be used for specific purposes. Right. The open I don't remember what that yeah. is. Housing, historical, historic preservation, and uh, open recreation. space and recreation. Right. And is mm -hmm. there one more? No, I yes, think there that's is, it. Yes, there's a third category. Because we just have so much money. <laughs> no, I'm like, we have so much CPA money just sitting there not being used. Correct, and I would oh, like sorry. to use every bit of it that I can for, for that stuff, uh, definitely. You know, we were hopefully using some money uh, to fix the uh, fountain to make it res recycled water instead of just, you know, into the drain. So there's, there's things, and working with the water department, he said he's done that in Florence and could do that. So there's a lot of things that are related to this. I just didn't want to wait multiple years to, to be able to have some funding available. Not that I'm going to spend it right away, and I don't know if I can. It's just there's so many moving parts. I didn't want to wait another whole year to get a design ready to get going for bids. So I was hoping to have some money set aside to start that program because I, 
I hear it through town a ton of sidewalks, crosswalks, safety, improvement, and improving our downtown. That's been a focus of mine. It's just, it's amazing how hard it is to get done. So this is just for the design, a request for the money for the yeah, design? Yeah, preliminary Soft and initial, costs. yes, design work. And, and if, if I can, if the design's a whole lot less than that, then yes, I would turn it back in and then request for whatever grant but work or. Reworking a fountain, yep. that's not design, is it? I don't think so. I, I, it's in there because I don't. It, could it be. needs to be part of the design, but I'm hoping that 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 could be funded. You know, hopefully the the water department could do. He said, "Oh, yeah. get Kevin here, and we can we can get this dug up, and he he'll do the work to get it together." So I think that's a minimal part of it. Hopefully, we wouldn't have to spend much at all on that. It might be, you know, town work that we can do, and working with the water department. I'm, I'm probably coming out from out of left field. I realize this is primarily focused on the common, mm -hmm. but if we're looking at the common and the center of South Deerfield, is there any discussion going on at trying to get utilities underground in the center of South Deerfield? <sighs> yeah, because if you're going to rip up sidewalk or whatever. Love it. The, the, it's just a just that, Here yeah. you're going to try and, quote, mm -hmm. improve the, the town It'll common, be, and yet sure. you've still got all the power lines and I agree. telephone poles. Yeah. I'm James just asking the question. Those no, I, think, no, I agree. I, I think that's been brought up. I don't know how many were involved when the town did a another complete streets project about six years ago, mm. seven, eight years ago, it was not the same project. Right. It's the same concept of multimodal, green infrastructure, all of that kind of stuff. Mm. That was a HUD grant that was funded. It was a design plan. Yeah. That might have been addressed back then. We're also incorporating that. Mm -hmm. But another piece that Trevor hasn't talked about, he's been very involved in, is some work we did a year ago, mm -hmm. beginning a South, uh, what do we call it, South Center, South Deerfield Center mm -hmm. project. And it's to look at all of this, not only the common, Elm but Street. the north, you know, yeah. Marine, South Main, yeah. um, and Leary Elm Lock. Street, Elm Street, and Leary the Lock. sidewalks, mm -hmm. the plantings that aren't there, um, you know, just re- And putting that stuff underground. And I've that's all part it, of the complete business. Talked yeah. to a few people right. like from Verizon and stuff, and they're like ridiculously expensive, but mm -hmm. it's worth looking at to see if the, any part of it we can bury because you know, less limbs coming down. They just down put in another pole. Looks so. better and <laughs> right, right. Yeah, they just put in another pole for the Cumberland's project. Yeah, so I agree. I will definitely a, keep an eye out. Just and a if, question. If any anything we can do to do that, I just I don't want to kill the project with a huge mm -hmm. price tag. I mean, my no. main goal was like walk crosswalks and stuff, but it's yeah. And this everything's attached this to everything. This is likely to be a multi-year project, mm -hmm. and there are additional complete streets funding rounds, so you can mm -hmm. maybe do closer to the center of town and then move up a little bit on Elm Street and further that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. but we need this money to even get, to access more money. Okay. But this is again for design. Mm -hmm. Will the state, part of their grant, reimburse us for some of the design costs? The grant does not for design. No. Hmm? No. So then, that, so then on here, a source of funds, we should scratch off grants. Well, the because uh, we don't know. For design. We don't know. Well, I'm you know, there might be other agree. other options. I I, I was just leaving it all open because I'm going to take it from wherever I can get it. But um, yeah, if it's just design, maybe you're right. But maybe there's but another grant. That's what the request is, is for design. Yes. Uh, right. Is there no other grant available? I, I mean, I just didn't want to limit myself. So. Uh, no, I understand. Yeah. But I'm looking at it from our yeah. We'll we'll continue to look at that, and if that and if there doesn't seem to be anything, yeah. we can pull that out of the mix. Pull, um, pull grants out as out pull of the this. Name if in out. fact, you know, there are private sources that might foundation that might do something for a historic fountain or something like no, that. No, I'm just this is the request is for the design. That's what I'm I talking we need about. That's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. But we'll, we'll, we can hone in on that more. Mm -hmm. We can narrow that down if we look at that further about whether really there are grant opportunities or not. Okay. You have no idea what the design fees will be, right? No. Okay. I talked with Ty and Bond, and, um, and he thought 
uh, between 50 and, and 75,000 would probably be enough to do the um, the initial um, preliminary design and then a, and then a more solid design to to tie in the state work too so would be included in the seven pack. yes so you're Usually right design, part of it is out of thin air I, I, it just, I'm not I sure know. if it's the same for public works as it is for public buildings but you generally plan on the design and engineering work to be about 10 percent of the project I, again, I'm not certain with a public works project if it's the same. If it's less, I'll be thrilled. You know, less I can spend there and put into actual putting the sidewalk in and getting a few benches would be. Yeah, what happens that's my if it's goal. more though? We say, okay, go ahead. Then I'll have we, to come request again. I don't know what else. Yeah, do but, I say? but at that point we spent. But suppose I'm going to do some. You haven't spent example. anything yet to so, get the final quote, right? Yeah, ten percent would mean it's the total product's roughly seven hundred and fifty thousand, mm -hmm. and we're talking just the town mm -hmm. common sidewalks all the way just around. It's it's a ton of work, ton of design, reworking all that stuff. Yeah, I think it's this. Let's um, talk about whether this is actually bigger than just what's described. Here. You know, if we're going to go on to further down Elm Street with this project, or. Uh, I don't. I don't want to get. This. So my goal is. Not, I don't right. want to get Too so big. big that we can't do anything. Right. We need sidewalks around town. Cheslick, you know, she's got people trying to come into the house. She can't even. The lottery guys say this. This building's not ADA because your sidewalk comes up to a granite curb this tall. It's just there's so much that needs to get done. I just want to keep it small and focus just on those pathways and the crosswalks and sidewalks around. I don't. I. If we have money to go further, great, but I really well, want to start small, focus there, but I don't want to do something there and limit us. Right. I want to keep it, our eyes big enough that we're not creating a problem by just, okay, our sidewalks are in and right. now, now everything yeah. else has got to work around those when we really should have thought a little right. bigger, a little further down the street. So Yeah, you almost need to do the design in, in total. In total. And then figure out what you can do. That's what I'm right. that's what I'm trying to do because I want the crosswalks and the yeah, pathwalks to be project. safe and thought out well. Right. Can chapter ninety funds be used? For I think they could. I think they could. I mean, we'd love to use them to pave everybody's roads, but But I mean if you're gonna replace curbs, story. you're gonna have to tear up the street, so you're you gonna are. have to repave yep. the Yep. There will be some work there. My other question is, why does the state still control Sugarloaf Street? And if it I think because we don't want to spend the money choice. to maintain it. So they maintain it. Oh, yeah, let's leave it as is. <laughs> My vote, anyway. Yeah. It's kind of a double-edged sword a little bit. Because you want to you wanna have it. The other issue, though, is if you leave it as a state road, um, you can't have on-street parking on a state road. So there goes the parking on park and around the common so oh, park street is part of the state yes yeah. road. The state highway. and we want to look at the, Allier, the, the parking lot as well <laughs> the leary lot uh, you know uh, and if we're going to pull some Sugarloaf parking from there we want to redo leary lot so no not elm not elm the state highway used to go park street right out here this street conway and then back out before they closed oh, off okay. the railroad crossing. Okay. So yep. the state highway runs Sugarloaf Street Park. Gotcha. To yep. Conway. To Conway. Mm -hmm. yep. Do we want any more information on this one before we... We're not going to vote on anything no. tonight, I'm no. assuming, no. right? No. Please. No. We were planning no. to pr give you more. This yeah, is just... I, I mean, I have, yeah, no, it's, we it's, have a ton yeah. of info, and I just wanted right. to kind of get this in front of you saying, you, you know, I'll probably have more as we go through the season yes, here, just yeah, like okay. narrow this down a little bit, because yeah. now that we have, we've just gotten <laughs> improved. Yeah. Um, we can start that process going, and I'll just keep you in the loop all the way through. Okay. Okay, so you want to move on to the next one, police radios? Okay, I'll go up. I'll fix that. Oh, I, this I, one. I have one. Oh, wait. Mm. No, I just have one. Well, you mentioned these are all rapid response. Okay. Mm. Mm. 
doesn't show a source. Hmm? This one doesn't show a source, so. Well, then it's implied that it's going to be mm -hmm. taxes. But if they don't know, I mean, that's not. At this point, then, it's just not identifying the size. So. So is this something that we'd have, we should ask uh, John to come in and talk to us about? I think we'll need to. Is it? Um, it almost sounds like it's, it's not an option. But it's, I, yeah, it sounds but like But I don't know. Well, you've you got know. two items that you could call in to talk do we about. Need him, do yeah. we need him to come in for the radios? No, we've, we've, got, we've got the radios and then we have the motorcycle. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just, I mean for the radios themselves. Well, I think we have enough information to. I personally think we have enough information to vote on the radios. Do you read it as our system will not work at all if we if they don't get the new radios? Is that the case? I do believe they've been working on that a while, and they're they're moving right to the 800 system. Yeah, so the old I, ones won't work. Eventually, yeah, I thought this had come up a year or two ago. It has been. I think they've been. He, John's been trying to get the state to do a lot of this stuff. I don't know where he's at with that, but I know it's a huge ask because it's everybody across the state yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. that are dealing with this. But I know that the radios are old and, and I thought we upgraded we upgraded radios a couple three years ago so that we could talk to the state police. Yeah but apparently not that's these a, radios. <laughs> that's why you these are different yeah. radios. Yeah. There's multiple yeah. Yeah. if I remember yeah, right. yeah. Two yeah. Them make I think we yeah, yeah, I think we'll need the department John to come in. Ask yeah. John to attend. I, sorry, I'm late. I had an appointment no I have to attend, but uh, myself with some of the requests, because of where we're sitting financially mm -hmm. this year and in the near future here, I think myself personally, I'd like to ask people to come in and sit even yeah, if agree. it's only yeah. mm -hmm. even if it's only a few minutes to yep. make sure that we're all on the same page mm -hmm. uh to to vote on these items yeah. i agree sure. I'd, I'd just feel myself personally i feel more comfortable and if people don't agree with that that's fine i'll go with what the committee no i i think <clears throat> i think we should have john john come in for uh, you know, for a brief meeting, so we can just ask them questions about mm -hmm. okay. about both of these things. It it does sound like the radios is a must, but may, maybe I don't know. Maybe there's something that maybe it maybe it is optional. Maybe and then the you know the motorcycle. I'm sure there'll be questions about the motorcycle also. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to move on to the ambulance, the regular ambulance replacement? Do we want to look at the motorcycle? Oh, the motorcycle, motorcycle at all? I think it's the one they've been leasing, correct? It, it is. is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's the it? a two year lease, which expires in April of 2019, and it's the buyout on the. Okay. It's the purchase price of this motorcycle what's, at that point in time. What's, what's the. Uh, if you were to buy a two-year-old Harley, what would it cost? Anybody know? Well, theoretically, it should Harley's be more expensive. Expensive. Theoretically, right. it should be more than Theoretically, it should be thirteen five. More than right. thirteen five. But theoretically, yeah, no the, theoretically, the buyout should be the the residual in, value, value, which is calculated theory, yes. in advance. You know, I, right. I don't know. But is that the market value? And then I'm asking. Well, the also, value. a police bike. I, I don't know. Is a is a former police bike a desirable? I no, I'm saying if he went out and said, I don't want this one, let's buy a two-year-old Harley from the dealer. Police Harley. Police Harley, yeah. yeah. What would it cost? Mm -hmm. about the revenues? I, would, I would think at least that, but I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. They're not cheap. Huh? More? The 13.5 is, is not out of line as far as that motorcycle. The question I think that a lot of people in town will have is, is it a want or a need? 
right. and especially when we're going to be facing some major expenses here. Uh, you know, I hate to keep referring to that, but let's face it, we're, we've got a sewer system that we're going to have to pay for. We have a capital uh, <clears throat> improvement plan being developed by the regional school that our end of it will be about $2 million and so on and so forth. And, and we can ask John about, you know, so annual John savings and, and that sort of thing because I'm sure there are the some. enhancements that it provides to the to the department. Exactly. He can explain, right, he can explain how, it's how that well, It's, it's, it's been great so far because it's been paid for by, don by donations. Exactly. I wonder if he could lease another one and ask for donations. Uh, Lisa a new one and These ask. Are good questions for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we should have. So okay. well, he comes in, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I think, well, I think a lot of people support our police department. Mm -hmm. I think we and what they do. I think our police department does a fantastic job. I do yeah. too. Yeah. So, I'm um, I'm going to head out, but before I did, uh, not to hijack anything, but I just wanted to mention. Um, we don't have anything for the sewer to bring before you at this time. Um, we had a meeting on Friday and we're kind of mapping out financing on that. Um, the application will go in in a couple of weeks, hopefully in a week or so, mm -hmm. um, for the phase one and um, design of phase three. For you all mean for the, the application for financing? The application for the USDA. grant, USDA oh, grant. grant. Yeah, to the see US, where we stack right. up the on USDA that. Grant, yes. And we do have some stuff in our favor and it's not a good thing because we have, you know, a lot of work that needs to get done at the plant and um, uh, forced work that needs to get done at the plant. And that kind of helps us with the grant application, hopefully. So um, the, you know, the planning is, um, well, what we were hoping for was about $100,000 in the design for FY19 or yeah, FY19, which we don't know how we would do that because uh, we'd have to do some short-term borrowing. Brenda and um, Barbara are, are working that out to see if it's doable or not um, because our retained earnings just aren't available until September or October. So we're not sure where that's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, Fifteen of that has already in the budget and it's going to be paid for to, to, for the application process. The other 85 was the design so that we really knew what we were going to what we we're going to go out and bid. That was the nuts and bolts that everybody wants. Um, but that may have to wait, or they may, we're not really sure yet. So that's kind of where that is. And in FY20, we needed a, um, a million dollars, which would be the true design work. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, Do you know when the next meeting is going to be scheduled with, with Prickett? I and I don't. I, my guess is it's right after we get these answers and the application goes in. I think then we would we would find out where we're at and right. start to hear. Because I know they're running a little behind. Who who's running behind? Cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Um, but I think he's. You know, it's there's because a lot of work. <laughs> right. Yeah. And no, I, think I, and I understand. I think they're almost just, done. But you're right. Yeah. I was and just going to say, is that, full re is that his full no, report? Or? It's, no, it's the no, application the process. Oh, right. It's a draft US I just think it would be, if, if we get a little closer, have that meeting, I think it would be very helpful Absolutely. to the Capital Improvement Committee and yep. the Finance Committee yep. to find out where we're, where we're really at. How all that stacks out exactly. for 13 years. Absolutely. Exactly. That's my goal is that once I have solid answers on that, I'll definitely get it to you guys. Okay. So we can have a meeting. We need to add works, no matter what, right? Yep. And That's the clarifier is even yeah. before that. Can we get back so to the ones that we have? Yep, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just want to give you a heads up that stuff. Okay. 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 Thanks, Trevor. All right. Thank yep. you, Trevor. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. So now we're on to the the uh, the SCEMS requests. The first the first is a uh, is um, is. Um, for a, for a new ambulance, and um, mm -hmm. we've been we've been contributing money to a fund of sorts. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know yeah, exactly. Uh, how they it. have an enterprise mm -hmm. fund, annual town right. meeting, right? Right. And we have so. been contributed. My understanding is that's being bumped up one year, and I think they 
somewhat explain it with their uh, rationale here as far as the, yeah, the repairs that they've been running into mm -hmm. with the international. I'm just curious about why we're at 2018, 19, and 20 on their <coughs> their expenditures here. If if it's FY18, we're halfway through FY18, aren't we? Yeah. We're, we're no, we're through no, we're halfway 19. through 19. We're in 19. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, I mean we're three right. quarters of. The, I mean, so we're all the way through 18. We're halfway through that's 19. Right. That's right. Well, that's already been appropriated. Yeah. appropriated. I, that's that what I'm trying to understand one, here. Yeah. Just showing. Just showing the total cost on the on the form. That's all. Okay, right. so all they're looking for is 2020 at 76,000. Right. I don't think they're looking for any. They're looking for because it's all going to come out of retained earnings. Yeah, but we still. Right. Yeah, yeah, but that could be money that could be used for operations too. If we, right, if, right, if, that's if, what I'm saying. For skims, yeah. If that's what it's. Well, that's you know, skims. Again, yeah. that's I think something that we may want to call Zach in and, and speak with him about to mm -hmm. clear up that. Is you right, Ken? Well, as far as I don't need to see a three-year projection here. I only need to see the one year that for right. 2020, which is the well, end I think of the he's cycle. showing how we got to 76. Mm -hmm. oh, he's showing how we got to 243. Right. Okay, next time. Well, well, yes. No, well, how the 243 and ambulance cost 243. Right. But we only need 76 this year. Right. That's what I'm assuming. So we're going to wait for him to come in. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because I, I, I think I, we're gonna we're gonna we're go gonna want to ask him about right. this this other vehicle purchase. Right. There's, I think, which there's is questions that we have. I have more. I have more questions. I understand that the ambulance is a is a. The, the ambulance has to be replaced every X number of years, and we have a plan for uh, putting the money aside, and that's pretty straightforward. But. But the uh, this other vehicle, I, I don't know. I think we're going to have more questions about on the interceptor. Yeah, about the the yes. need the need for it and also the cost of it. So yeah, definitely. I guess this comes brings to mind now. In, integrate with a five-year plan because this was. Presented to us a year, last year at least, maybe two years ago, and we don't vote on it because it's not coming out of current. It's not coming money. out of taxpayer. But you know, maybe I don't know. I maybe when we see it two years ago, we should have said yes or no. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff. Well, the, the, that's not related. To, I'm kind of looking right. at the overall. Right. What we do. This is this is kind of walking a fine line, actually, for us. Uh, in a way, it's a courtesy because it is an enterprise fund, mm -hmm. and you do have three towns involved, not just Deerfield, but at the same time, Deerfield oversees the the financial component of of the enterprise fund. So I guess there is some responsibility here. And as far as being able to say yes or no, I, I think he put it on the, on the plan to give us a heads up that this is a, a vehicle that they may be looking at down the road. Mm -hmm. But there is nothing definite at that time period. It was just a possible projection. So now it's coming to light and here it is. So now I think would be the time whether you recommend or not recommend is to, it, to the public. But it's part is this, of that process. Yes, it is It is part of the five-year plan. It's part of plan. the process of the five-year plan. Maybe we should be looking and saying no or yes. Yeah. That's the, all. Um, something I think, something we should consider think and about. discuss. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, Ken, no, I'm sorry, no or yes to? To, to the five-year Two year years plan. ago, he goes, yeah. <clears throat> well, no or yes to, we agree in 2020. You should be able to spend this money. Or this is two years, 2018. We're sitting here, and he let, he says, okay, in the five-year plan, two years from now, in 2020, I'm going to probably need forty thousand dollars for the community EMS vehicle. And we sit there in 2018 and go, no, we don't we don't think that's going to be necessary. We do. 
but I think that's something maybe we should discuss next May. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Too late now. <clears throat> Something to consider. My, my question was: Is this the full cost of the vehicle, or is this a Deerfield share of the vehicle? Or oh, so that's that's I'm guessing to have him in. I think uh, it's I'm the, guessing it's the full cost. I think so it's the full cost. Yeah. Yeah. That would be my guess too, because he's showing the full cost of the ambulance. Okay. Do we pay a third or a half? We pay roughly about right. forty-nine point something yes, percent. Half, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So we pay close to fifty percent of it, as far as the town. So, I'd love to see a longer life than five years on it too, given the use that they're putting out. But that's neither here nor we can. So we would be having John and Zach coming in, among others, and. We'll get a better, we'll have a, things more finely tuned on the school side. Was there anything well, from the there, highway department this year? Or? There are, there's also, Wendy, there's requests, there's a request in the, in the works from the highway department? Um, usually hasn't been, usually yeah. early. Have, yes. My understanding was when I, they have it. Uh, you don't have that over there? No, we don't no. we don't have anything yet. But my understanding was that Kevin was working on I do have something, sir. I'm sorry, but you have it. Okay, no. Um, Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, there's more um, we actually there, there's actually more copies here, Jeff. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, here here's a uh, I'm sorry, I didn't dig that for the street scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the one I hadn't seen yet. No, this is for a F-250, this is for a, a truck. A truck. Okay, I have not seen those, those just came in today. And this is? Yes, they did, you're right. This is for a mini excavator. Okay. Do you have enough copies for these? Well, I don't know, we'll see. He talked to me a, a little bit. Yeah, I made, copy. I made nine Jeff. copies. Okay, great. The extras give me one back, please. Here you go, Chad. Um, I'm getting over to her. I can give These are the extras? These are the extras. And you keep one and now. And you got one? Carolyn, and is anyone Jack. else missing tonight? Right there. Mm -hmm. Let me take, yeah. Okay. Right there. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so just count. If you have an extra one there, I'll. Do you have just two? Yeah. Do you need one back? No. I'll, uh, if you have an extra, <coughs> yeah, I will take an extra copy. But if you don't, that's fine. So this first, this memo, yeah. dated Great. December 4th, is unexpended money that's already been appropriated, right? Things that we had voted on. Yeah. So we as a committee, we don't need to do anything with this, right? No. I think it's just keeping us right. updated. Yeah. FYI. Yeah. yeah. We can look at these. I, we know we're going to need Kevin to come in as well, right? Yes. So. What the uh, F210, F250, and the mini excavator. Whoa. So he's asking for an F-350, right? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Nine foot plow.
which makes which does make sense. If they're plowing streets with it. And that was already on the plan. Mm -hmm. We should try to get, or would it be too much to have Kevin and Johnny and Zach all? Meet? All at once, do you think it would Not be? Not all at one time at the all same meeting. All in the same meeting? Same night? I don't know. Or do you think that would be too I much? I don't know, what do you guys think? We'd probably do it over. Maybe two meetings. I think a couple, a couple meetings, meetings right yeah. there. We could, we could probably back to back some people. Yeah. Uh, some of these are somewhat, you know, kind of straightforward. Mm -hmm. A few questions, but others I think would be a little more time consuming. Yeah. Um, I just want to note that Kevin did an email, unlike anybody else. Um, we added that question last year about current... Um, current year. What, yeah, what's happening, and nobody fills it out. But yeah. Kevin did follow up when I talked with him about it with this email um, updating so you know what's going on with projects that are on the plan for this year. Yes, I had checked with, uh, yeah, those are them. I had checked with Brenda today. Oh, and, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This oh, wait, was, uh, give me one back. I need one. Thanks. And then this one, too. Is this that FY19? Is this? This was from at? last year's, yep. yep, this was cap, the capital improvement plan from uh, last year projecting in. And, also, mm -hmm. an update, I asked Brenda, and she's kind enough to give us an update on, on the pending the things that we're going. Okay, and that should match with what so that should match. Kevin's email. Yes, yeah. that should okay, match with that. what you have there. Mm -hmm. So I just, it, it will give us a base to work from going forward as far as what we had for the 2019 capital project plan going out to 2026, and then capital items approved prior to 18, but not completed, and going down through and giving us update on that as far as uh, what's being done, what's not being done, and what the dollar amounts are in those amounts. Thank you. Wendy, any of those extras I'll take because we've yep. got a couple members missing and all. Yeah. Make sure they get them next meeting. So theoretically, if it was a perfect world in the capital projects plan, we should see requests for FY2020 projected, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Theoretically. Mm-hmm. Has there been any word on the, if the library is going to? Have have not heard anything. We have a new library director. <laughs> yeah, I no, there is a new library director. <laughs> I don't know if we will this year because uh, once again, uh, according to what was stated, was that uh, the grant is probably two years out still. Okay. So. I don't know if we'll get a request or not, but if it's out two years, there would yeah. be, I still think it'd be a little premature to entertain that I've, thought. I haven't heard any at this time. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, as I look at your plan, what Kevin's requesting is his 2021 replacement. So you might. Would we be swapping the 150, the F150? Well, that's why we need to have some yeah. right discussion. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I think it's important to have people come in and spend a little time just to do a cross-reference of the five-year plan. And obviously, you have to have a little flexibility in a, in a five-year plan, but you definitely have to be able to justify it also. It's just interesting because it's about $297,000 worth of new items that were not on the five-year plan. That, that are not in FY20 projections here. Mm -hmm. That's why I say we need to have some people and have some discussions. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're you know, irrespective of the head work stuff and uh, mm -hmm. Tilton Library project, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, we don't have them all in yet either. No, I think no, I'm just saying that these new items now need to be added to this. Right. But that's what time of year it is. Yes, it is. Thank you for updating. By the way, this this here, this is, um, that's the high school, right? That's the elementary school. Elementary. This elementary. No, the elementary. high school is much bigger. That's the elementary. The high school is in the millions. Quite large. Yeah, for there. The regional, the regional school is is looking to set up. A capital budget for themselves. Capital plan, yeah. Right, and they they actually had a. Uh, I I right. They had a. Uh, they had a professional. From F. From F, Cog. From F. Cog or. Yeah. Well, they had Joe Markarian, who used Joe. to work for DOR. He did the study, the town recommending things, but he's been working through Fur Cog. To yeah, do he, projects, he did our finance policies for Deerfield. He created really, I think it's an excellent capital plan, and um, I don't know how much did this cost or how did. I don't how was know this? if this. Um, I don't know. Um, some of the work that he does is through um, money the state gives the regional planning agencies, and for Cog is a regional planning agency called DLTA money, and we've used it for town purposes. I don't know if they are allocating any money or they paid for this directly, or it came through a state-funded grant. Uh, okay. well, I think there was an e so We got this by email from from someone. You, did, if, yeah. if you guys haven't seen it, you Me. should take a look at I it. I think it's I pretty, sent it to everybody when yeah, I had it's pretty, it. It's pretty impressive. And, and it's, it's well done. And he mm -hmm. gets into um, defining uh, what um, stabilization funds are, what ca capital improvement is. Um, he, he talks about, it talks about uh, funding sources and how that works. Massachusetts p procurement law. So, I don't know, I wonder, is it something that, that uh, we could explore having them do for us? Well, not, not to diminish the, the usefulness of this, but a lot of it is boilerplate, you know, as you mm -hmm. were just saying, sure. all those definitions sure. we could use. Um, but then the, the analysis, yeah, I if you can look further at that and see if that's something you felt I mean, uh, some, you needed help with. You or? know, the general public look, you, looks at our capital plan and it, you know, it's, they may or may it's not limited. have questions or whatever, right. but they, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how much is explained about how capital planning um, well, nothing's explained about about what what capital planning is or what the issues are, mm -hmm. and and this this um, what what has to happen here. And I'll put my neck out there, is that the powers to be need to make that decision and willing to make that commitment. And so far, I uh, haven't seen. 100% buy-in yet, but you're absolutely right, uh, John and I think it was Bruce and maybe Wendy went to Northboro presentation. No, you're thinking of the in Amherst, the state one. Well, there were multiple things, but there was right. one specifically on capital planning. John Coderre, not our John Coderre, but right. another John, John Coderre, who's the who's the 
top guy in the country actually on capital planning from North Foro, Mass. Mm -hmm. And he does these presentations. And I did not go. Bruce Hunter did go. Bruce. I believe. Yeah, there was, and there who was else one went? that Bruce and I you, both right. went Bruce to. Bruce and John well, and then, went. Yeah. And North Foro presented it, one, and then right. there was the one put on by the state. Yeah, the whole DOR in presentation Worcester. all day that yeah. we went to. And once again, as you were saying there, it's a great it's a great model, but you you've got to get people to buy into it because this committee, as we found out, we spent months and months on wording for our own bylaw language, which we kind of got dragged into, and then well, that that's didn't that's the main point. <laughs> right, we maybe shouldn't have agreed to do right. to get and, involved, in. and we obviously didn't end up with right. the language that we had produced. So that's why I say you, people are gonna have to make a commitment, but. Well, this okay. is it. I mean, to me, this is a nice snapshot summary mm -hmm. of the work that's taken place so far. John started it, you've carried it on quite admirably. And it, you know, it, it's easy now to take requests as they come in, compare it to what was planned at right, our last right. meetings. And as with most capital plans, you find out that there's a lot of things that come up during the course of a year you hadn't thought of the previous year. Mm -hmm. So um, it's And hopefully we keep building on that yes. as a committee. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the whole idea of this. Yep. But the big hole with this <clears throat> yeah, buildings. There's right. nothing on here with right. respect to buildings. There's no roofs. There's no that's why inventing the HVAC right. systems, et cetera. Right. That's why we had quite a discussion on thirty thousand dollars last time around as far as recommending that for assessment of buildings. Mm -hmm. You can see the pros and the cons to it, but I think as John was saying, that could be a, a long term investment to help us really get into the nuts and bolts on this plan. Right. But also, I think, you know, maybe, I think we've talked about this in the past, when we're through with all our requests for this year, let's put a priority on them, keeping in mind what's coming out in the future. Like, I don't know, is, you know, what's the, of the things we receive, what's priority one, or what, or maybe classify them. I think Northboro had three classifications. One was like, have to do it. Number two would be nice. It was Number a priority. Wish list. Priority, priority criteria is what yeah, it was. Nice and and, right. But that's what I'm saying. You know, it's great model. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of whether people want to put the time and effort and and get the buy-in from everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or that's not. what. That's all that he does. Right. That's all that he does as a capital. He mm -hmm. does the capital plan. We don't have anyone dedicated to that. Who's, right. who do, who's this? Northbrook. This other John Cordero. John Cordero, Cordero that's all oh, he does. And at North we're, yeah. we're a small town. We're not going to be able to do speaks about it all that. over the country as well. Right. So. We're not really, he's not the, um, who did the presentation in Worcester? You weren't there. I think he Yes, was. I was. I dragged you there. Not Worcester. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not Worcester. Amherst. Amherst. Yes, it was John Cordero. Not our John presentation? Hunter. Yeah. Well, he the, does more than the capital plan, though. I and think he's the he finance like director. Part. So he's the finance director. Yeah. So he oversees all the other people who do all, all the other parts of right. finance, yeah, you know, whole, budgeting and all of that. But right. He's that. This is right. But the capital is part of it. Mm -hmm. Right. He really had his eyes dotted, T's crossed. All right, well, should we set a date for yes. next meeting and, and then... And hopefully we can get at least one of them. Right, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. We'll discuss who we well, want to uh, try to arrange to have come in. Do we expect more from Kevin? Um, more requests? No. This is what he gave me. Pardon? This I, is what he turned in. This is so what he provided. He thinks he's done. I think I, right. Well, he's I was going to say we can wait. He has some others that are still to be done. You'll, you'll see that, you know, <laughs> that are current. And he's already got his 
20, you know, he's, he put out a 25 year plan here. So no, I'm talking about for this year though. If, they, if he's going to be yes, submitting this, others, no, we should is, wait to talk. This is what he still submitted. Think we should wait on Kevin. I, I okay. think myself, okay. I think, uh, the chief, uh, get the chief and Zach. Get the chief and Zach. I think we could do yeah. that one. Then. And, and okay. try to do, do those two. Plus, Carolyn could talk meeting. about the SCEMS board and where they're at with this right. as well. So. Well, I've been attending. I missed the last one, which I was, I just could not do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have been attending the SCEMS meetings for the most part. So I at least have a little insight mm -hmm. there. We are looking for another representative. Um, to be there to take Trevor's place who'd like to get off that oversight board. So anybody listening who has uh, understanding, particularly of um, EMS operations would be great. They meet Thursday nights once a month, I believe. Yeah, they, they meet once a month, right? And it had been for the most part like the third Thursday, but that does change a little bit because of meetings So um, obviously, we're, we're, I don't think we're going to do anything next week. No. Uh, and then. Or nor the week after. Or nor the week after. Unless we do it at the end of the week. How about weeks. January 9th? We could, could do it at the end of the week. Select board's about, meeting that night. But, yeah, but you know, we could meet with that. We could meet before mm -hmm. and then, because I was thinking Carolyn could do both meetings one night instead of trying to, and if she has to leave a little bit early, to do the select board meeting, that would be fine. How about January 7th, the Monday? Does Monday work for Not everybody for here? Not for you? Not for me. What's wrong with the 9th? Could we do the 9th and do it at 5.30? Well, why don't you do it at 5.30? You should be done by yeah. 7. Right. Okay. I'm just trying to get it 5.30 right. right. on the, the 9th. Yeah, 5.30 to 9th. Who will contact Zach I, and... I'll be unable to attend the 9th. Oh. I'm sorry if you said sorry. that. I didn't hear. You won't be able to attend the ninth. I don't think so. Okay. And you said seventh was no good. Yeah, the seventh. I've got doctor's appointments both those days. Okay. That will the the one on the ninth will carry over till. How about the evening? Moving it up like mm -hmm. January fourth. A third. Is it realistic that we get much more information between now and then? No, well, holidays? we can have those two people come in. Yeah, that's true. It's okay, it's okay with me. I'm just January, trying to speed it up. January 3rd. It's that time of year, so I'm just trying to speed it up. Right, so. yes. No, and I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. Uh, the third would be actually better than the ninth. The third for 530? Yeah. Okay. I just, we haven't determined finance committee yet. So why don't we, well, I would you say mean first day is finance, the finance committee usually meets? That's been bouncing around. Well, it's, Tuesday nights were the nights that I thought you were going right, to go on we were for going finance. to try to do Tuesday yeah. nights, but why don't we start it for the third at, at 530. Okay. And if it comes up with the finance committee, John will just tell them that way we have a meeting at 5.30. So if they want to do 7 o'clock or whatever. Okay. So we're going to do it the 3rd. The 3rd at 5.30. Would you like me to inform uh, Zach and John? Sure. You don't mind doing that? Mm, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you, will you decide who should come in first? Because uh, there's no sense of both coming together. Um, why Maybe. don't you tell me and I'll... Give each one well, I say ba like based on their co your conversation with them. Well, I was just going to email them, give them two times, let them get back to me or something like why that. Why don't we uh, <clears throat> set the first meeting at, <laughs> at 545. Yeah. You start the meeting at 545? No, no start the meeting at 530. Right. Meet with the first person at 545. Mm -hmm. uh, 615. And then 6.15. So, so John at 5.45 yeah. and Zach at 6.15. Yeah. yeah. Or vice versa, okay. whatever works best for their yeah, schedules. I think a half hour for each will be right. plenty of time for Does that make sense to everybody? 
Yep, sounds good to me. And Wendy, could you send Jack and I an email? Once, I'll, I'll CC once you. Those are I'll CC you both on that. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll wait till I hear back. Right. When you hear back from. Send, do you want me to send the whole committee? Oh, you could. Yeah, if you don't mind. I don't. I don't mind. Uh, Jack, you'll be able to establish an agenda for that yes, yes, meeting, sir. and I will put out an email. Uh, for everybody on the committee uh, so the people that aren't here will be informed that we are meeting that night all right okay okay, okay. sounds good anything else um, do I hear a motion to adjourn I'll make a motion that we adjourn second I'll second it okay all in favor aye aye, aye. there's no discussion 650 oh I, I forgot